So guys, for this tutorial, first you have to download your Kepler wallet or any Cosmos wallet you have in your um either your phone or your browser extension. And then you also need your wallet, any eBay wallet. But for this tutorial, I'll be using Kepler wallet and MetaMax to download this and set it up. Now let's get started. So I'm going to drop the link to this Union version 2 and on the um, description box below. First, when you come to this Union version 2 page, you're going to see this interface. You're going to scroll down to this My Wallet and then you're going to connect your EVM wallet, which is your MetaMask, and then you're also going to connect your Cosmos. After connecting these two wallets, you're almost done. Then you come here to your dashboard when you click on your dashboard it will open your dashboard this is where you're going to see all the tasks you're supposed to complete at this top here this is where um you find your total xp then you you're supposed to connect all your all of this to this page you're supposed to connect it now you come to achievements this is where we are going to majorly focus on. When you get to achievement, you see all the tasks you're expected to complete. First, you're supposed to interact with Sepolia through Union for at least 10 days. So you're supposed to come and do this interaction using this Union V2 every day for 10 days. And mind you, the more you go, the more it's... Um, number of days increases. Let me expand so you see this. So when you're done with three days... You get your XP five days, you get your XP 10 days, like that for 25 days before this tax is, is going to give you your complete XP. Total XP for this tax is 70. So you get it as you go. See, currently I'm on 15. So let's collapse this. Next, you're going to interact with Babylon Testnet True Union for 10 days. Same thing with the first one. Let me collapse. 15 days is the total, total of that. Then Oleski, you're supposed to perform transfer to owner. Okay. You're supposed to transfer my, um, into Oleski doing testnet nine. Exactly. I'm going to expand more on this testnet nine later on in this video. Let's keep watching. So first, when you come here, you're supposed to you see this break the chains. If you're just starting this for the first time, then you're going to, um, perform 10 transfers into Oleski doing the testnet nine once you're done with 10 you continue to 25 to 50 i'm currently on 250 right now i'm going towards 250 you're going to do that so you have 500 transactions same thing with here perform 250 transfer into babylon testnet that's how you continue then now perform a transfer across six ecosystems during this testnet nine. Now, if you look here, yeah, we have just currently five ecosystems. They are going to add one, which is going to be the union itself along the line in this um, testnet phase. You just, as you're interacting every day, you eventually see it when it comes up. But for now, we have five. So I've interacted with all this ecosystem. I just do Zion and this. I'll show you later on in the video. Let's just continue. So now you see that I've done five out of six because the sixth one has not been added yet for me to be able to get this particular XP. So just scroll down for every other um, sax and you just complete them. But the one I'm going to be focusing on right now, which is kind of a little bit complicated, is this interactions where we have to interact with Sepolia. We have to interact with Babylon, Oleski. Um, and all and then these six ecosystems so first i'm going to show you how to get faucet for all test as test tokens for all these um, blockchains so you'll be able to interact with them so first we're going to come to this union version 2 then you are going to go to this place you see faucet now when you come here so first we're going to get faucet for um, sepolia so to get faucet for Sepolia, we are going to use Alchemy. So let's go to Alchemy. For Al um, Sepolia is an ETH. So where is Alchemy? You go here. When you come here, Sepolia, 
I already got test tokens for today, so I might not be able to get it. But you open your um MetaMask wallet, you copy your address, and then you input it in this place, complete this robot stuff, send it to your send me ETH, and then you're done. So that is it for Sepolia. Next, let's get for how many are there? There are five chains. So we're going to get test tokens for all the chains. Next, let's get for Zion. Yeah. So to get for Zion, you come to faucets. You come to Zion. When you click on Zion, it's going to open. Zion is a Cosmos chain. So you're going to open your Kepler wallet. When you open your Kepler wallet, you're going to search for Zion. When you search for Zion, you're going to enable. When you enable Zion, you copy the address. You come here and paste it. You come here and select. Usually, I'll take either USDC or Zion, but I feel you can take both so that you can use Zion as um, the um, transfer fee. So, first take Zion for this. So, that is it for Zion faucet. Then, the next faucet um, token we'll be getting is going to be um let's get oleski yes, let's get oleski also to get oleski we are going to use chain link so we'll come to chain link oleski is evm so you're going to be copying your metamax wallet for this for baby babylon zion you copy your you copy them from cosmos why the rest is evm don't get confused i also got confused when i started that's why i had to i said let me clarify that when you come to chain link, you come here, you show, do show more faucets. Then you go down. You're supposed to see Oleski. Sorry, I don't know. You can see it's Ethereum Oleski. You can come here, continue. Then you input your wallet, verify this. And then once you, you're done verifying, it's going to click on show you get tokens i already have them so i am not going to be getting token but you should get tokens then after oleski which one have we not gotten we've gotten for zion oleski and sepolia remaining corn and babylon testnet so let's to get um to get babylon we are going to um to get babylon we are going to use Kepler wallet to get your Babylon address. Same thing you did with Zion. You search for Babylon. You, after searching, enable, copy the address. Go to old scan. Yes. When you go to old scan, you'll be able to copy, you'll be able to get faucet from the address you just copied from your Kepler wallet. And you're going to paste it here. You paste your address here. You come here and click on Babylon. That's how you get it. And you click send, you press faucet. So that's how you get faucet for Babylon. Last one, we are going to be getting faucet for... So to get that, you come to Bitcoin. You copy your EVM wallet address. That's the ETH wallet address. You come here. See, it's even there. Enter your Ethereum address. That's let you know that EVM. You copy your ETH address. You paste it here. And then you claim your Bitcoin. So now we officially have faucet for all the five chains that are currently available. So all you have to do is interact between those five chains. You can do Zion to Lesky, then Zion to, you get, then you do Lesky to Zion. That just interact between all of them. But I'm going to be focusing on the ones that you have to do repeatedly. So let's do, what, what was that task that you need to do? Yes, the one you have to do every day and repeatedly. So I'll be focusing on that for now. So first, you have to interact with Sepolia through Union for 10 days. So to interact with um, Sepolia means you have to transfer, do stuff using Sepolia. So let's do to Sepolia. I'm going to be doing here 0.01. The amount you do does not matter can do 0 0.1 you can do 0 0.01 but i always do 0 0.001 so that i don't run out of test tokens fast but any amount you do does not matter all my all that matters is your interaction with the chain that's the only thing that matters so you're going to confirm the transaction and then you're done it's just going to it might take a minute but it's going to go through 
You're going to see transfer successfully. You come here, click submit, confirm transaction, and we are done. So we've interacted with Sepolia for today. So you have to do this every day. If you see now, I have six. There it was five when we initially started this video. So you are supposed to interact with Babylon for 10 days. So let's go and interact with Babylon. Come here. We're waiting for this network. So to interact with Babylon, we just come here. We have a less key. So we are going to click on Babylon. We're going to use the same. Then approve. So once you approve this transaction, you're going to bring a confirmation. You're going to confirm it. After confirming it, it's going to load for a while, then come up, show you to submit. After clicking on submit, next um page you're supposed to see is transfer complete. Yeah. All right, so with that transaction complete. Now, I'll be rounding up this tutorial. So, you can always come to your dashboard and see your progress. It will always be there. Then you find, you see how far you've gone with your XP at this top corner. That'll be all. If you need any tutorial, I hope this tutorial is helpful. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or comment anything. Let me know you got something from this tutorial.